Thanks for watching. And today we will evaluate a beautiful series that will lead us to the world of calculus, complex numbers, integrals, and awesomeness. Namely, let's try to find a series of sine of nx over n where n ranges through the odd numbers. Now, of course you could use complicated tools like Fourier series or arctanch of x, but let's try to keep it elementary and explain it in a way that a calculus student could understand. Now, if we do have something over an odd number with a series, which should remind you of the series of arctangent of x. So let's start with that. So step one, start with arctangent of x, which is just x minus x cubed over 3 plus x to the fifth over 5 minus blah blah blah. In other words, the sum from n from 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n and then x to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1. It looks very similar to the above. The only problem is, in the above, we have just plus signs. So ideally, we would like to change this alternating series into a plus series. And this is where our little friend's i come into play. Because how about we now do arctangent of ix? ix, then it's just that series, but you plug in i sum n from 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n i x to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1. But what is i to an odd power? It's just plus or minus i. More specifically, it becomes minus 1 to the n times i. So here the series becomes sum n from 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n times minus 1 to the n i x to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1. And lo and behold, what's beautiful about this is that this minus 1s actually become plus. So in other words, what we get is arctangent of i x simply becomes i times the sum of x to the n 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1. Now, this is amazing because, well, now we can solve for this sum of x to the odd powers to get sum n from 0 to infinity x to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1, then becomes 1 over i arctangent of ix. Now, I know I don't like to be on the bottom, but I don't care. Because, let's keep it here, it'll be cancelled out in a second, so it's fine. Okay, but again, what does this sum have to do with this one? Well, this is where we have to use complex exponentials to get actually a kind of odd geometric series almost. So now we're ready for step two. So now in our second step, let's try to write this sum of sine of odd x over an odd number in terms of complex exponentials. So this now becomes sum n from 0 to infinity of e i 2n plus 1x minus e minus i 2n plus 1x over well, 2i and also this odd number. So 2i times 1 over 2n plus 1. And now let's split it up, assuming you know, convergence is not an issue. In other words, let's, let's put our applied math hat on. And what we get is, in the end, the sum with 1 over 2i times the sum from n from 0 to infinity of e i x to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1. 
minus the sum from n from 0 to infinity of e to the minus ix through 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1. It's like old McDonald's had a form e to the ix 2 to the n, e to the minus ix 2 to the n. It's a very nice form. Now, why is this so useful? Well, remember, this very complicated sum simplifies to the following. 1 over 2i, this becomes arctangent of i, before we had ix, but now i e to the ix, but to the cos of i, and then minus arctangent i e to the minus ix over i. So nice thing, no more sums, basically. Okay. No more pomegranates, <laughs> like that other video. OK, and now, again, as promised, we do have this simplification where i times 2i becomes minus 1 half. So in the end, we get the following minus 1 half arctangent of i e to the ix minus arctangent of i e to the minus ix. OK, very good. Now, you could use, I think, different formulas of arctangent, but I don't know them. Okay, Instead, I do know integrals. So in fact, let me refer you to a beautiful result that I've proven in several different videos, because now in step three, turns out we can write all this in terms of ln. And you'll see in a second, there'll be a very beautiful simplification. Because recall, in one of my previous videos, I've calculated the integral of 1 over 1, uh, one, over one minus x squared. On the one hand, I've done this using complex substitutions, complex trig substitutions, and I found that you get minus i arctangent of ix plus a constant. On the other hand, we can find, using a partial fraction decomposition, that this is 1 half ln of 1 plus x over 1 minus x plus a different constant. However, plugging in x equals 0, we actually find that this is the same constant. And then we get a wonderful new identity that is extremely useful here. Namely, namely minus i arctangent of ix equals 1 half ln of absolute value of 1 plus x over 1 minus x. But even better, if you extend this to complex numbers, you can check simply by differentiating that the same thing holds if you remove absolute values and just change it to parentheses. And this will be very important in a second. So in other words, the stuff that we had, arctangent of ix, and again, more i's on the bottom, this gives you one, minus 1 over 2i ln of 1 plus x over 1 minus x. I, I hope black pen, red pen won't be mad, but yeah, here it's useful. And now, to sum up, no pun intended, what is our sum? Well, step four, our sum that was just minus 1 half, so arctangent of i e to the ix, minus arctangent, I think, of i e to the minus ix. But now we can simply plug in this formula. So then what we get is, this is minus 1 half times minus 1 over 2i, and this ln business. So um, ln of 1 plus e to the ix over 1 minus e to the ix minus ln of 1 plus e to the minus ix over 1 minus e to the minus ix. 
let me check, yes. And now we can just use the usual rules of ln. So ln of a minus ln of b is ln of a over b. So what we get is 1 over 4, yeah, 1 over 4i, let's see, so ln, again, of 1 plus e to the ix over 1 minus e to the ix times 1 minus e to the minus ix over 1 plus e to the minus ix. And now you'll see the beauty of it, so just wait for it, because we get 1 over 4i. How about we factor out an e to the ix from the left? So we get ln of e to the ix. All right, then what we get is e to the minus ix plus 1 over 1 minus e to the ix. And how about from here we factor out the e to the minus ix? Then what we get is e to the minus ix minus 1 over 1 plus e to the minus ix. And here comes the most exciting part of the video. The e to the ix cancels out. This denominator also cancels out. And even the numerator cancels out, except with a minus 1. So in the end, what is the value of the sum? It is 1 over 4i ln of minus 1. I think you have to use principal logs, otherwise it's wrong. So you get 1 over 4i. This is ln of ei pi. OK, and then ln of e is just the identity. So 1 over 4i times i pi. And that's pi over 4. Wow. So in other words, the sum of those odd signs is just pi over 4. How cool is that? All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.